Did you know you can automate your PDF creation? PDFs are a crucial part of business, but creating them from scratch is often a time-consuming and challenging practice. Instead of getting bogged down by all the details of creating a new PDF, try using a PDF creation tool. I'm Noel with Jotform, and today we'll discuss how Jotform's PDF editor can streamline your creation process. Let's go. Jotform provides hundreds of PDF templates that are ready to go. You can easily search for a specific template style or take some time to browse through all of the categories available. There's a sort function that makes finding industry-specific templates super easy. Let's say you find a template that fits your needs. You can click on the image to see a helpful preview first. Since Jotform is a form tool, all of the PDFs you make are tied to a form. The same goes for templates. If you view a PDF template, you can also preview the form it comes with. Perhaps the specific PDF you're considering doesn't end up striking your fancy. That's okay. If you keep scrolling down on the PDF preview, there will be a few recommendations for similar templates. Once you've found the winner, just click Use Template. From there, you can click Cancel when you have the option to fill the form out. This will automatically fill the form with dummy data so you can easily see the final result without added effort. That's it. When someone fills out your form and submits it, Jotform will automatically create a PDF. Once you have your template selected, it's time to start customizing it to fit your needs. When customizing, you can hover over most elements and see the boxes they're contained in. If you want to reposition any elements on the template, you simply drag and drop them. In the lower right corner of the boxes, there is a resize element. When you drag the square, you're able to change its size. If you want to change settings like fonts or colors, simply double click to change them. Customizing takes some finessing, so if you don't like a change you made, you can undo them with the undo keyboard shortcut for your device. Let's take a look at this specific template layout. There are green boxes at the top and bottom, and these elements are simply just that, boxes. They're available in the element list on the left side of your PDF editor screen. The yellow box with the egg image is also a box element. If you wanted to adjust the green or yellow boxes, you need to adjust the margins. The page has margins on all sides, so just click in the margin area or on the thin blue border around them. When editing your PDF page settings, you'll want to navigate to the right side and click the paint roller icon. The options bar will open. From there, double click the box to view the current settings. If your settings area is already open, then just click the green box to view its properties. The property settings will show aspects like background color, background image, and if the box should extend into the margins or not. Let's keep exploring the items on your template. Up next is the logo. This logo inside the top box is from the form and doesn't have any customization options. The large text that reads gift certificate is what we call a header. You can customize this with all the same font and color options as all the other elements. Just below that is the element that says presented to. This element and the ones below it come from the form that the PDF is linked to. By clicking on form fields on the left menu, you can see all of the elements that come preloaded on your form. There are lots of options to play with for this element. The element you'll find below those form fields is the notes section and it's considered a text box. When double-clicking it open, a text editor will pop up instead of customization options. Just below the Note text box, there is another text field, but it's white so you're unable to see it. This works as a spacer on your form, or you can edit it and add whatever text you want inside of it. Here's a fun fact. You can actually turn any JotForm form into a PDF. Go to your list of forms and hover over the form you want to make a PDF. Click More and then select Open PDF Editor from under the data column. Once you're in the PDF editor, you just name your PDF and choose your layout. And boom, you have a bare bones PDF page just like that. Obviously, you can go back and change any of your options later, but you're off to a great start as is. You have a basic title, layout, and form fields necessary. So there you have some of the basics needed to customize your PDFs. Let's review. Automate your PDF creation with Jotform's PDF Editor. You can customize a template by simply using the editing elements within the PDF Editor. 
Now, when respondents complete your forms, JotForm will automatically create a PDF. You can also create a PDF from scratch by turning any JotForm form you already use into a PDF. Thanks for watching. I'm Noel with JotForm. See you next time.